Hi everybody, my name is Abacus, and today I'm going to show you how to mod your carbuncle in Final Fantasy XIV to make it any color you like using text tools. It's probably one of the easiest mods you can do because it doesn't require Photoshop or any third-party softwares except text tools. You can do it right in here, but it's super unintuitive, like unless you have somebody like me to explain you how to do it. Uh, I checked on like the Discord for text tools, and I saw people ask this question throughout the years. Like, I just want to make my carbuncle orange, and nobody ever like posted the answer. So here it is. Uh, you go to Companions, Pets, and here's all the carbuncles. In case like you've never used text tools before, I'll just really quickly go through. You click the Models button to view the model. Uh, carbuncle zero is the Emerald carbuncle. Uh, one is the Ruby carbuncle. Two is not used in game anywhere I can think of. Three is the Emerald carbuncle. 4 is the Moonstone Carbuncle, and 5 is the Obsidian Carbuncle. These last two are only used by Alphanard. So, unlike all other creatures in the game, so we were to go to, like, Garuda Eggy or the Fairy, or all of these other things uh, that actually use, like, textures that matter that you would need to export into Photoshop, the Carbuncles don't. All these Carbuncles use the exact same texture. The only way they differ is at what light they give off. And that can be edited right here within text tools. I like to start with Alphanaut's carbuncle, the moonstone, because it's white. Like if we were to make a green carbuncle or a rainbow carbuncle or a purple carbuncle, it's nice to start with a white carbuncle because you don't have to worry about the other colors getting in the way of what you're creating. Uh, that's just a you know, quick tip. You can use whatever carbuncle you like as your starting base. Uh, but what you're going to actually do is ignore the texture entirely and go to color set. This is where you actually affect what your carbuncle is going to look like in-game. It has to do with uh, what color certain materials and sections of the carbuncle are, and then emissive color is the light that those sections give off. Now, when I mean sections, I'm talking about how you see there are 16 rows here, you know, sets of colors, and, you know, what do these refer to? Like, I'm highlighting the fourth row right now. What does the fourth row do on the carbuncle? Well, we can figure that out by going to the carbuncle and this button right here, Highlight Color Set Row. So if you do this and we highlight 4, remember the one I was asking about, and click Apply, and we see that it's now showing, hey, this is the row that that color set is going to affect. So we see that uh, row 4 affects the carbuncle's face. So if we were to edit Color Set 4 and you know make his face you know green like that, uh, then we go back to the model, um, and let's see what he looks like. So we see that he's now got this very attractive, he looks like a Lucador, green face. Now if, and you can do that with, you know, all the different color set rows. You know, we jump down to color set 8. We see that 8 affects, like, looks like the underside of the ears and some parts of the belly. Um, so you can, you can click through these to figure out what part of the carbuncle. You're like, I want to recolor the carbuncle's feet. You can just click through until you find the one that does that. Um, now, if you do that, you may notice occasionally you see like like one, for example, one doesn't appear to do anything. Uh, what's up with that? And I'm going to be honest, I don't 100% know what one does, uh, but what I do, like, because it doesn't appear to affect the carbuncle, no matter how I edit it, but I do notice that there are certain rows, like one and two, that are just the same across all the carbuncles, which makes me think they're either unused, or there's some sort of global thing that, in my opinion, you shouldn't touch. Uh, I will highlight on screen which rows I think you should actually touch when you're recoloring your carbuncle. Uh, but anyway, speaking of recoloring your carbuncle, let's say we were to do, you know, what I just showed here. If you were to take this carbuncle right now and port him into game, he would actually look surprisingly subdued. He would not be as aggressively neon as he is right now. And the reason for that is I haven't touched the emissive color. So the diffuse color is the color of the material of the carbuncle's head. Emissive controls what light it actually gives off and solid black is going to be white light. So if you're green and you give off white light, you're, you're gonna look pretty washed out. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you touch the emissive colors as well uh, so that your carbuncle actually gives off the right colors. And this is how you get those bright, vibrant hues that you would actually want to make your carbuncle look good. And you would, you know, you'd want to be coloring more of these so that you can get your colored carbuncle. Well, now, you know, you're like, well, Nick, why would I want a recolored carbuncle for? That's Alpha Nod's carbuncle. I can't even summon it. And you're right. Uh, but you can actually port what you're doing into other carbuncles via the copy row and paste row function. So, you know, let's jump up to the, uh, you know, the emerald carbuncle, your first carbuncle and you can go into the color set 
and you can paste, uh, and that way you can kind of transfer your stuff forward. This is useful for two reasons. The first one is, you know, if you do all of your testing on Alpha Nodes Carbuncle, but two is that you can make sure that Carbuncles 1, 2, and 3 all look the same. If, for example, you're releasing a purple Carbuncle mod, you'd want to be able, you'd want to make it so that your users can choose which one of their Carbuncles get recolored. Uh, the last thing I want to note, make sure you hit save pretty much after anything you do. Um, we can click around in here, uh, but let's say if we were to jump from, you know, jump between carbuncles at the moment um, and we forgot to save, it wouldn't save. So get into the habit of saving constantly or especially if you're bunny hopping back and forth between carbuncles, grabbing these different colors because you will find yourself replicating work a lot if you don't forget to save. So let's say, you know, we're done with our carbuncle. We just made, which is, this is going to be a hideous green carbuncle. Oh, and oh, this is another one. Why isn't the carbuncle changed? Uh, you need to you need to just load a different model, and then once you go back to the old model, there we see. Oh my gosh, that is brings a tear to my eye. So let's say this is this is great. I I think this is the most adorable carbuncle, and I want to get it in game. All you do is you go up to mods, you create a mod pack. If all you've done is touch the carbuncles, you can just make a basic mod pack. Um, remember, carbuncle zero is the emerald carbuncle. We don't want this one because that's Alphanod's carbuncle. I don't want him to have whatever we left his looking at. Oh, whoops. And then, you know, you'd want to give it a name and uh, make sure you let him know who created it and a version number. There we go. And so all you've done is create a mod pack at this point. It's not going to show up in game for either testing or just modding purposes. You're going to want to actually go in and import the carbuncle that you've created back into your text tools. And once you do that, it's actually saved, uh, and you can go in-game to test your carbuncle, which we are going to do right now. And there we have it, an immaculately recolored carbuncle. Ain't he a beauty? Actually looks emerald now. So uh, yeah, go out and uh, make your own carbuncles. It's quick and easy and oh my gosh <laughs> all right see you later